Ahoy hoy, and welcome to the channel. I'm Dr. Sumerian, and oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, it's happening, it's happening, it's finally happening. SCP-173's image is finally being taken down. Let's talk about that. So about two days ago, somebody on my server alerted me to uh, the existence of a thread on the O5 command forums, uh, which was essentially beginning the process of taking down SCP-173's image. Now, SCP-173, for the six people who maybe don't know, uh, is the original SCP article. It's the one that was posted up on 4chan and then eventually made its way over to the wiki. It's the original. All other works essentially sourced from that. So what we're dealing with here is sort of a titanic shift in the history of the SCP wiki, but a necessary one. Now, the, hmm, what's the best way to put this? The images policy on the SCP wiki requires that every image posted be Creative Commons compliant, that is, compliant with the site's license. And over the last four-ish, is it four-ish? I think it might be four-ish years, maybe a little bit less, maybe like three. But over the last three to four years, um, there's been a policy in place that I originated, but we'll talk a little bit about why that doesn't really matter anymore, uh, that I originated where... Uh, the articles, there was basically a process for taking stuff down, but we never really got around to the idea of what we call legacy images, stuff that was posted before the policy was put into place. Um, and I say part of that doesn't really matter because I instituted the policy and then completely disappeared. Well, it didn't disappear. I resigned from staff uh, <laughs> and then left all of the really hard, really extensive work to other people to complete. Uh, so I don't really think I should get it very much credit for that. But I did institute the original policies. And so this is something that I've been waiting for for quite some time to actually be completed. This is the last of the legacy images. So our policy is any new posts, they have to be Creative Commons, but the old stuff that was posted before the policy was implemented uh, was sort of being dealt with one by one by one. SCP-173 is the last image on the SCP wiki that is not Creative Commons compliant. I should say the last old image that you could still post something today that isn't Creative Commons compliant. It'll just get taken down very shortly after. Um, so this is the last legacy image. This is it. Once we do this, that's it. The SCP wiki is completely Creative Commons compliant. And if they ever decide to go to their own fucking website, then they don't have to worry about the legal implications of having non-Creative Commons images on there. And that's actually super important. Let's, uh, it, we're not going to go into why that's super important, but it is super important that, like I said, if they go to their own website that they run, own, pay for, and all these other things, and they start allow, and they allow, knowing knowing that they're not Creative Commons, they allow images on their website, that's a problem. And they don't have a process to get rid of them, which well, they do now. It's great. I'm actually quite happy about this. I've been wanting to see the SCV Wiki go completely Creative Commons for a really long time, and they're finally getting there. And I, let's talk a little bit, though, because this is important to people. Not just the process or the reasons why it's good, but the more personal nature of SCP-173 for a lot of people. And even for uh, people who maybe think that SCP-173 is a poorly written article, which it is, but it doesn't matter because that's not the point of it. It's not supposed to be great art. It has inspired some great art. I, I think one could say without being too pretentious about it, not everything on the SCP wiki is amazing, but some of it's very, very good. And it was inspired by SCP-173, so we got to give it that credit. The original image, Untitled 2004, was created by Azumi Kato, um, who was not given any sort of notice or, you know, uh, information that this was his stolen image was being used uh, and didn't really find out about it until it started becoming particularly popular. Now, a lot of people in their minds, especially since a lot of us are creators and, and or want to be creators, would think to themselves that the only thing that matters is exposure. The more people that see your stuff, the better, right? But that's not the driving fundamental creative force for a lot of people. For some people, it, it's just that their image, that their vision is communicated properly. Um, and while I'm not necessarily disagree with that for, from a personal standpoint, that doesn't mean I don't respect it in other people uh, and their goals in, in creating art. So just because I, I've seen this already, he should be, and this is not, this is in the past, this is today, he should be happy that we are allowing it on the website to show to so many people. 
he should be happy that his art is being showed to everybody, despite the fact that he didn't want it. <laughs> he very begrudgingly allowed it on the SCP Wiki. Let's be clear about that. While he did accede to the SCP Wiki using it, and under very restrictive circumstances, it was a very it was a begrudging allowance, mainly on the sense of. There's this, hey, guy, there's this whole community that sprung up around your image. Has nothing to do with the art that you created. Uh, can you please let us keep using it? And the guy's like, I guess. Just don't sell it. And a few other things. And that's not what you want. You don't want to be guilting people into allowing you to use their content. It, a yes is not... Oh, you want enthusiastic consent, <laughs> if we're going to use the... Uh, uh, the right terminology for it. You don't just want, yeah, I guess. You want, yes, I'm very excited to see this be this way. And that's not what we had. We haven't had it from the beginning. We didn't have any consent at the beginning for using the uh, uh, the image. And then we had what was basically, I mean, I don't want to destroy your stuff. I guess keep using it. And that's not respectful to the original creator, right? If we think of SCP-173 as this fundamentally important if you really think it's irreplaceable that's actually sort of an argument for replacing it or getting rid of it we'll talk more about the, the lack of replacement in a second it's actually sort of that because what you're saying is really is that you you have gotten so much use out of this image it has be it is so important to you <laughs> that you think forget everybody else in the world only, only what I want matters. It's very important to me, and I'd like to keep it. What you should be thinking is, is thank you, Azumi Kato, for letting us use it for as long as you have. That's what you should be saying. Um, and we're going to be more responsible and more moral and more ethical in the future with regards to our images. And that starts by giving him back his art, which is what we've done, hope, or we're going to do. There's really only a discussion going on right now. Uh, it's probably going to go in the right way, but you never know with these things. Um, the original author of SCP-173, the article, has asked that the image not be replaced. Um, and to that end, uh, it seems very unlikely that it will be replaced. Uh, there's some people that have just been like, eh, screw what the author wants. We'll do what we li like. But of course, that's the exact same attitude that got us into this problem in the first place. So that seems kind of silly to me. And there is going to be a couple of weeks before they even get around to voting on it. And when they vote on it, then uh, they'll take it down. Uh, and it's not going to be replaced. There is some talk about a possibility of creating an SCP-173 gallery to like allow for other interpretations of SCP-173. And that'll be fun. But at, at its core, this is the right thing to do. And this is well, well, well past the right time to do it. If you have any opinions on what you think should be done with the SCP-173 now, let me know in the comments down below. I know a lot of people will be talking about the possibility of a uh, a gallery, and um, or I'm sure plenty of people will be like, "Leave it up. This guy should be appreciative that we allow that we put it on our website and made his stuff so popular." But you know, whatever. It makes me so angry. I saw that. Uh, I saw somebody actually saying that on a Facebook group uh, recently, uh, and be like, "Oh my god, it's so." Mm, mm. It's like Rocket at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, what if I steal something? Uh, that's theft. You can't do that. No, no, no. Uh, what if I want it more than the guy that has it? Well, it's still theft. No, no, no. I don't think you understand, sir. What if I want it more? It doesn't change anything. Just because you want it more doesn't mean it's your property all of a sudden. Um, but yeah, I'm, uh, that's the end of the video. I just, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in a pretty good mood over this. Uh, but thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell. And then head on over to Patreon.com. We actually lost our $50 patron, uh, MC Cashmill, who is, uh, I would like to say thank you very much for pledging uh, for as long as you have. That was, uh, was really cool of you. And uh, I know everybody's got their own reasons for when they why they can and can't uh, pledge. And I completely and totally respect that. But I thought it was worth saying thank you to uh, MC Cashmill. And I think anytime uh, I get one of those big uh, patron backers, I should probably thank them when they come in. And I should probably thank them when they leave. Um, yeah. And Sinjariki, who's pledged $100, who I don't think I've thanked him enough. But I'll say it again. Uh, but everybody else here on the screen, you could join with them at five, at one, five, ten dollars. There's a one dollar tier. Just doesn't show up in the in the little uh, table here. 
But um, it's nice to know that I'm not alone out here. And I will see you all again on Thursday. Took me a second to remember the day.